All right, welcome to lesson two, Ad Rank. Now, if you're not familiar with Google AdWords, you might not have ever even heard this term before, but it's an, it's an extremely fundamental and extremely important topic and concept for you to understand to not only create your ads, but also optimize your ads so that you're getting the most bang for your buck. So what Ad Rank does, like I mentioned in the previous lesson, is it determines the ad position. Now, in this example search, you'll see the the results, the paid results numbered one through 10. Now, not every search result is gonna have the same structure, is not gonna have the same number, but it always starts with number one at the top, or if it's on the side, um, it just depends on how it's structured. But in this example, number one is at the top of the page in the yellow box. Now, why is that important? Towards the top of the page, for the most part, and I'm just generally speaking here, is where you're gonna see the highest click-through rates. And click-through rates are very important for ongoing ad rank and ongoing efficiencies and lower costs. So as you're looking at these, you're gonna to want to focus on getting your ads as close to the top as you can. Now in some instances, you're gonna see better results and lower ads, and once you get more familiar with AdWords, that's when you can start focusing on that. But when you're just getting started, it's better to look at ways to get your ad closer to that number one ranking. Now, there's three elements that go into ad rank. First is bids. So the bid is how much you're willing to spend on a keyword. If it's a keyword that you think might have higher intent or might potentially be more lucrative for you, you're probably gonna be more inclined to paying more for that keyword. If it's less, if it's more of a bottom or a, a, more of a top of the funnel type keyword where people are just doing research, you might be less likely to pay um, a higher price for that keyword. Second is quality score. Now quality score, there's a lot of different components and it's kind of been a or Google's been a bit nebulous about it where they're not really telling you what how each thing is ranked. But what quality score is trying to do at the end of the day is determine how likely somebody is to click on your ad because Google wants to serve its users the most relevant ads possible. Now, this is something that I'm gonna preach throughout the entirety of this course, but focus on relevance. If you're focusing on, say, going after a keyword of red shoes, you want your ad to talk about red shoes and you want them to be sent to a page that has red shoes on it. That's the best relevance that you can. If somebody's searching for a specific type of red shoe, the same thing. A bad example of, of quality score, and again, we're gonna get dive deeper into this, but just like a general example of a bad, um, a bad relevance is, say if somebody's searching for red shoes again, and you have an ad that's just talking about uh, leather shoes. So they, you're serving them, in a, serving them an ad that says something about leather shoes, buy our leather shoes. They click and they're looking for red shoes, but then they go to a page with leather shoes. They're going to obviously qu click back unless it's some sort of an anomaly where somebody might also be interested in leather shoes. But that's not what Google's trying to do. They want to serve the most relevant ads to their customers. So it's not, like I mentioned, it's not as an intrusive as an ad or it doesn't block their experience. And then lastly is ad extensions. Now there's gonna be a whole lesson just about ad extensions alone, but in the previous le lesson I showed you how you can enable calls from ads on mobile, that's an ad extension. Um, you can provide more information in what's called site links, that's an ad extension. You can actually have mobile downloads from your ad, that's an ad extension. So there's a whole wide array of extensions that you can add in addition to your ads that provide more context, more opportunities for conversions, and the more of those that you can use in your ads, the better, and Google is pushing, um, giving you a higher ad rank if you do that. So what goes into quality score? I mentioned that it's, uh, it's a bit, there's a bit of uh, questions that go around it, um, but what they're trying to do is determine the expected click, click through rate. So that's how likely searchers are going to click on your ad when next to another ad. So Below, there's a, a quick example. Very similar ads, um, but for whatever reason, the one on the top gets more than double the clicks um, or the percentage of clicks. So 
This goes into testing. I'm gonna show you how to test and why testing is so important, but this is a great example of it. Sometimes you're just speaking more, uh, you're speaking better or more targeted to the customer. Um, sometimes price is a driver and this one, not as much. Second is ad relevance. So how relevant your ad is to the keywords that you have chosen. Um, in the example I showed you in the previous slide, you want, if you're going after red shoe keywords, you want your ad to be relevant to those red shoes. If you're um, talking about your restaurant and you want, you're, you want to target keywords talking about Cuban restaurants, you want to make sure that you have Cuban restaurant or Cuban, Cuban food excuse me, somewhere in your ad. You want it to be as relevant as possible. Next is the landing page. So when I was, again, going back to that same example of red shoes, when somebody clicked on that ad, they're expecting to go to a page that has a red shoe, a category of red shoes, a whole site of just red shoes. They're expecting those red shoes. Um, so they want to be sent to a page that features a product or service featured in your ad. They want to get what they're expecting. Some other factors that go into quality score. Keywords pass click-through rate. Your URLs pass click-through rate. Keyword and ad relevance, like I mentioned. Geographic performance. So if your ad is performing better in the United States than it is in the UK, but you're ta targeting the entire world, you might want to look at the geographic targeting um, for opportunities to improve that ad rank. Your account history, and there's a bunch of other factors that go into it, but again, there's not really a specific weight that goes into each, but once you start getting into AdWords and once we start going into these live um, walkthroughs in a live account, you'll see how easy it is to adjust your quality score. And at the end of the day, it's really about relevance. So quality score affects more than just the rank of your ad. It also affects your cost per click. So it's ranked on a scale of one through 10, your quality score is. Five is the benchmark. So at five, you're paying a dollar for a dollar keyword. We're gonna use the dollar keyword as an example for this. But if somebody is going after that same keyword for a dollar and they have a quality score of five and you have a quality score of four, you're gonna be charged an extra 25%, a premium of 25% on top of that. So for that same keyword, you're gonna pay $1.25. But if you have a quality score of 10, say, as you can see on the top, it says a quality score of 10 is discounted by 50%. So for the keyword that somebody else with a quality score of five is paying a dollar, you're paying 50 cents for that same keyword. So this, if you focus on this relevance and you focus on quality score, you're gonna pay less for the same keywords as your competitors, you're gonna get more clicks, and really, this is how you're gonna how you're gonna win in AdWords. So better quality scores decrease your bid costs, increase your customer experience because they're getting what they thought they would get. They're not going to pages that are completely irrelevant from what they are looking for. They're going clicking on an ad because it's what they wanted, going to a page that is what they wanted as well, and then you get more clicks for less money. And ultimately, at the end of the day, you'll increase sales if you stay along that same line of relevance. So as you can see here, and on, as some of those other slides showed, quality score is extremely important. It keeps your costs down. You get more clicks for the same amount of money. Um, and this is something that you should definitely focus on when getting into your ads. And we're going to make sure that this is a huge point of emphasis throughout the course.